Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Mitchell Mander here, and welcome to another review of the Black Clover anime. We're going to be covering episode 169 in today's review, the second to last episode of the Black Clover series. Crazy to think that in one week the series ends, and presumably might not come back for a long time. So, uh, yeah, everybody get ready for that. It's unfortunate, but you know, all things have to come to an end eventually, so hopefully the series comes back pretty soon or we get a movie or something. I'm very curious to see what this special announcement is going to be next week. But anyways, you know the drill. If you're new to the channel, you like this type of content, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Anyways, on to the review. Now this episode begins where last week's episode ended off at, with Noah waking up and is greeted by the elves, the ones from the Eye of the Midnight Sun, along with their leader. So, some interesting information at the beginning of this episode. So it turns out this is where the elves have been this whole time. It looks like we're basically in a magical forest turns out to be a secluded village at basically the edge of the Heart Kingdom, which has high mana, and is led by a character named Dryad, which we don't see in this episode. This, person, this character is in the manga, but it hasn't been introduced in the anime yet. But in, anyways, we're in this village, Elsia, which is in the Heart Kingdom. This is where the elves went to after, they, after the reincarnation arc. So, as it turns out, Dryad over here foresaw Bonica's attack on the Heart Kingdom, and sent the elves to help out. Unfortunately, it was too late. However, it, as it turns out, Noel, Mimosa, Luck, and the others actually survived the attacks. They managed to block off the attack. They were knocked unconscious, but they all managed to survive, and they protected the Heart Kingdom citizens. So, good job, guys. So, the elves brought them back to Elsia. Now, there's a pretty interesting revelation here, as they all spot some elf children here. As it turns out, they're Licht and Tetia's descendants. Yeah, these kids. Remember uh, Licht and Tetia? Licht turned to that demon, and Tetia was supposedly murdered in the elf massacre. But it turns out she actually was still alive. So Sekre actually found her, sealed her wound, and apparently one of the twins survived. And, yep, turns out that Licht actually has descendants here, which is actually pretty cool. Which, this actually causes Sekiro to break down in tears, which was a really nice moment. But the main thing here is that Noel and the others are actually going to be training with Patri and the other elves to unlock ultimate magic. Something that the elves have the ability to do, but Noel and the others don't have that. So, they're going to spend a couple of days training in order to unlock their ultimate magic spells. They only got a couple of days, so are they going to be able to unlock these uh, ultimate magic attacks? We'll see. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this part, but Noct has a scene where he goes back to the Black Bull's base, and he basically roasts everybody. He not only roasts Yami, but he roasts everybody in the base at the time, individually. And he basically calls them out on their faults. And basically he's like, yeah, you guys are not good people. Gray is the one that actually stands up to Noct, and he basically shuts her down. And the one thing that, the main takeaway here is that actually as he's leaving he basically tells them hey if you want to save that worthless man's life you got two days get stronger so we'll see if these individuals actually get stronger in the next two days now on to the last part of this episode so Asta goes with Nock to do some last minute training and become the ultimate warrior and they go to an unknown house Asta asks hey what is this place Nock over here responds this was the house of a noble well a former noble that is yeah, this is uh, Nox's place, and if you've read the recent chapter of the manga, you'll know exactly what this place is. By the way, that this, this week's chapter was great. <laughs> but anyways, um, back to the episode review. <laughs> However, the purpose of this training is the devil binding ritual. And what I mean is, basically Nox is going to perform this ritual to cause Asta's devil to be summoned into the world very temporarily. And what Asta has to do is fight his devil and win. And then he can take control of his devil because up until this point, he's only been using like a little bit of his devil's powers, but not utilizing the full extent to its power. By doing this, Asa will be able to take control of his devil and gain its powers for his own. That being said, if Asta were to fail and his devil takes over his body completely, he'll basically be transformed into a grotesque monster. And Nock will have to basically kill Asta and dispose of him. And you know all those skulls that are all over the place in this uh, house? Yeah, those are the skulls of people that have failed the devil binding ritual. And Nock basically tells Asta, yeah, if you fail, your skull's going to be part of that collection over there. So please don't fail. Defeat your devil. 
But the funny thing here is that Asta, as soon as he meets his devil, which we get to see his devil's full appearance for the first time, and he's actually shorter than what Asta thought he was. Asta's actually trying to have a casual conversation with him and thank him for helping him in his previous battles. But Knocked over here is like, uh, yeah, buddy, don't be kind to the devil. They're devils. They're evil. Fight them and win. Just do it. And even the devil over here is like, yeah, he's right. We're all pieces of crap over here. So fight us. <laughs> and Asta over here is like, well, I don't actually agree with you guys because I don't think just because you're a devil, you're a bad guy. And that triggers a memory from the uh, Asta's devil over here. Turns out that, uh, it seems like somebody else was saying the same thing, which this seem this person seems to resemble Asta quite a bit. I wonder who this person is. I guess we'll find out in next week's episode, the final episode of Black Clover. So overall, another great episode. For me, the highlights of this episode is the beginning part because the anime actually expanded again from the manga material when it comes to where the elves are at, Elysia and the Dryad, because at this point the Dryad I don't believe was mentioned in the manga yet. It's been a little bit since I read these chapters, but I don't recall the Dryad being mentioned here. It could have, I might be wrong, if you want to correct me in the comment section down below, go right ahead. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't mentioned here. But they expanded some of the scenes here, that was actually pretty nice. But for me, my favorite part in this episode was uh, Asta's Devil. And it's voiced by none other than the voice actor that voices uh, Bakugo from My Hero Academia. And also Gladion from Sun and Moon. But, yeah. I have to say, perfect voice actor for this character. Anyways guys, that's pretty much all I got for this episode review. Not really a whole lot else to talk about. It's not that the episode was super boring or anything. There just really wasn't a whole lot to talk about besides what I already talked about in the summary. So, yep. I'd say this episode's maybe like a 7 or 8 out of 10 episode. It's just crazy to think that we only have one more episode left and then Black Clover's over. I'm going to definitely miss this series, but hopefully, fingers crossed, the special announcement next week is a movie. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but it'd be really cool if this arc ended in a movie. Just saying. So anyways, this episode, again, 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 episode, somewhere in that range. So guys in the comment section down below, what did you think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Post your thoughts. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.